In the months leading up to the recital, our protagonist lived and breathed dance. Every day she practiced her pirouettes and plies, dreaming of the applause and the flowers. To make the dream even more real, she had used her saved allowance to purchase a pair of new ballet slippers, soft and pink, that fit her feet like a glove. With the guidance of her grandmother, a former ballerina herself, she had even sewn her own tutu. But on the morning of the recital, her dream turned into a nightmare. Her ballet slippers had disappeared. They were nowhere to be found in her room, not under the bed, not in the closet, not in the drawers. No one in her family knew where they had gone. The clock was ticking, and with every passing minute, the panic grew more intense. In the kitchen, she discovered a note from her brother. He had taken her slippers as a prank, hiding them somewhere in the house. He promised to return them if she could locate them before noon. He thought it was funny, but to her, it was a cruel joke. Driven by a mix of anger and determination, she searched every room, every closet, every drawer. She looked behind the curtains, under the rugs, and even ventured into the attic. But the slippers remained elusive. As noon approached, despair threatened to take over. She was almost out of time, and the recital was looming. Tears welled up in her eyes. The thought of giving up crossed her mind, but then she remembered her grandmother's wise words. Ballet isn't about the shoes you wear or the clothes you put on, her grandmother had told her. Ballet is about the passion in your heart and the grace in your movements. It's about expressing yourself and sharing your joy with others. It's about being brave and beautiful. This memory sparked a surge of hope. She wiped her tears away and took a deep breath. She decided to take her grandmother's advice to heart. She slipped into her homemade tutu and tied her hair up in a bun. Instead of ballet slippers, she wore a pair of old sneakers. They were worn and dirty, but they would do. Her parents were shocked by her brother's prank, but they were also proud of her resilience and resourcefulness. They drove her to the theater where her classmates and teacher met her with surprise, but also with support and encouragement. As the music started, she stepped onto the stage. A wave of energy and confidence washed over her as she began to dance. She danced with all her heart and soul. She danced with grace and beauty. She danced with joy and passion. In the end, it didn't matter that she didn't have her ballet slippers. What mattered was that she had given her all and shared her passion with the audience. The applause and the flowers were just as sweet, if not sweeter, because she had overcome adversity to achieve her dream. Her brother's prank had turned into a valuable lesson about resilience, passion and the true spirit of dance. She had proven that ballet isn't about the shoes you wear, but the passion in your heart and the grace in your movements. She had shown that being brave and beautiful comes from within. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the true essence of ballet.